All right, welcome back. Um, welcome to part eight of my Dark Souls One Remastered playthrough. So, uh, on my um, Titan Feats uh, like profile, uh, I'm like nearly. I, I'm pretty sure I'll be. I'm pretty close to finishing the game. I've got like seven bosses, four of them being DLC and like three main game ones. I think. <clears throat> like the four kings, I haven't versed. I haven't versed the. Uh, so, Tomb of Giants, I'm trying to find, like, a torch or something. So, apparently, the enemies in Catacombs drop one, which I must have never picked it up. I'm not too sure. But, um, when I go into Catacombs later on, I'm definitely going to do it later on for the, um, for the save. Because, um, I went in early and it made it so much more difficult. Then, and then I came back, like, I, I've... I went back to catacombs to like um to try tomb the giants but I just can't like I keep falling down because it's just like totally dark so one thing I forgot about on this I remembered like a day after I played I'm like wait a minute I never rang the bell because I was like did I watch that um the golem video with like the uh the golem and stuff for like the next place that you've got to go That's the um, second bell. So now, um, so now they open up the castle, and like soon enough, I'll be versing the door boss and stuff. So who have I who have I killed in this? Uh, the duo, those duo guys with the uh, um, halberd weapons, and I also know where the other halberd is that I'm wanting to find, but. So the other weapon that I want, it's a Black Knight's Halberd, and uh, it's very rare to get, so I got lucky on my other save, so it's just going to make like this playthrough a lot more challenging, because apparently it's like one of the strongest weapons in the game. Right, and we killed the Chaos, the other fire guy too, didn't we? The Discharge guy, whatever his name is. So now that I know what uh, the, the, um, the word warping means, it's like teleporting. I don't think I can do that yet, but I'm not actually too sure if I can, can yet or not, but yeah, I, can. I can't use that either. So you have to do that later on, I think. Do I have... I wonder where I find that ring that lets you walk on lava and stuff. Right, uh, stats. So, 31. Okay, so my uh, strength's not far off from what I'm actually normally am right now. Um, I'm only like, I'm only strength 38, and then my dexterity is 18, my health's like 26, and then, I'm not too sure, like, I must upgrade some of the other stuff, but I even think my resili uh, my resistance is like the same as on this one, <coughs> but um, yeah, so I can't tell you Right, I might, I'm going to come back to here later on down the line, but right now I think I'm probably just best to like, go back. So it's so good when you can teleport, because I, I, I wouldn't have to worry about running through that, um, <clears throat> Blake Town, which is like, full on annoying, like the worst, probably the worst spot in the game. Or... 
um, my second most disliked place would be that, um, when you go to kill the, uh, ice dragon, which I'll show you later on. So you get cursed, and it's like, just a, it's just like a maze to get around. I still feel so far this boss here has been my hardest boss um, in the whole game. I don't know why, but <clears throat> in my other playthrough, this boss has just been the hardest. Mainly because I was under level and I didn't have the power on having the weapon that I have. Like I've been killing bosses with like four to five hits. I'm that powerful. But I know where I'll be, uh, I also know where I'll be, um, farming souls and stuff. <clears throat> so when I get to the duo boss, I'm probably going to farm up a bit and get some strength and health up a lot. By just, like, killing the knights over and over again. Because they're, they're, like, they give you a thousand, and some of them, the archer ones, give you, like, one thousand three hundred. My health is so much lower than I'm used to right now. <clears throat> oh, come on. No way. That, uh, I want to go get the hell, the normal halberd though, because it's je definitely going to help me in a lot of areas. What I was using for my original account. Um, so I've just got to get back without dying. Okay, what do I got here? Okay. <clears throat> this one should be a little bit better. This is also the same sort of weapon, but it just doesn't have the like stab effect. Just like it just means that it's not as fast to attack with than uh Alright, this is probably like my favourite like um armor to wear. Don't exactly know where you get it from though. Cause I'm pretty sure it's really good against flight. It does massive protection against fire, I believe. Yeah, like 22, 58, 24, and 40 uh 49. <coughs> so like makes like fire resistance massive which I'm not too sure if that's the same like fire is lava in a way but I don't think it is I think there I don't know if that's like used on that same thing
you also, as you can see, you have like a massive poison radius or like another like anything else really. I will say this weapon's a lot weaker but I might also use the campfire really quick so I could uh, take away my poison really quickly as well. I'm not too bothered. So this is probably one of the sillier parts to try to do, to try to get onto this thing, but it's like, it's not meant to be hard, it's meant to be really easy, so I'm just gonna, like, roll here, and, again, the fall off. I wonder what boss I should do now, though. I don't know if I should go and kill the, uh, the golem, or, uh, trying to think of other bosses I've got, I could do. could go kill Pinwheel, but he's just a lot harder at this point, where uh, you're not as strong. Well, mainly not him, but Catacombs, the whole place in general. Alright, that's a lot lot easier way to get onto it, I, I guess. Instead of rolling, we roll way over it, just uh, walk onto it. There is no bloody way. I'm not even kidding. Like, what the hell? Why am I, like, now just starting to, like, fail this part? Like, I never ever fail on that, but I, I, as soon as I start recording, I start failing that lift. <sighs> oh, boy. Looks like it's going to be a fun Dark Souls session. Like, sometimes the bosses ain't actually bad, it's like getting to the bosses that's a pain in the butt. Like, like the duo boss, they're not that bad, but like, to get to them at times, it can be a bit tricky. Or like, as in, not tricky, but you lose a lot of your heals going towards them. Depends on what way you go, like, there is a way that you can go, but I'm always like, I was always fighting them and then like picking up my souls and I was like gaining like 8,000 souls each time around as I was making my way to the boss. And it just kept adding so then when I killed the duo it gave me 60,000 plus whatever I had which was, I, I like had nearly 100,000 by the time. Um, I did that and then I was able to like level up a, like 5 levels which was awesome. I could also go the other way too, <clears throat> the original way of getting back, but I will say it's a lot more painful that way, because you have to go into the other place too. I do have an option though, if I could like, <clears throat> just go back to the campfire that's over there, just so I don't have to keep coming all the way, that's probably not a bad idea. I think it's right around this corner. <clears throat> and then I should also uh, get away my poison, and then I can uh, have like go up there without being poisoned constantly, so I'm not losing anything. <clears throat> it's 
so that works a lot better for me. Alright, so. Okay, so when I rolled off there, like, had like a force field there, and I was like, it just hit something, and then it didn't let me proceed forward. Like that, oh god no. It's weird, something's getting caught, like the shield or something's like getting caught into the... <clears throat> but I'm, I'm, I'm like really close to that now, so that's good. We're looking good. So now I just gotta get out of here and survive so I can uh Wow, they, they are like way stronger. Compared to now, like, they just take no, no hits on my other one. Also, I'm not a big fan of this axe, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm not sure if I killed that dragon on this one, I sort of, uh... I did not. Oh boy. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to run over to here just so I can be safe. I'm going to go into that ghost town. So I haven't actually, I don't know if there's a boss in here. There probably, there, there, there probably is a boss in here. But you sort of need this one. Okay, I don't even know if I can open it yet. Never mind, I'm gonna have to just risk this. So, uh, in that place, there's like ghost enemies, they are terrifying. Um, like, there's like, there's just so many of them at times, and they just like come out the walls and the floor, and they like have massive hands and claws and stuff. Um, so you also need these things that make it so you can actually attack ghosts, so you, um, if you like saved it, if there was a campfire, um, there's one at the start, but I don't actually even know if there's many around the place, because of like, you went into like a situation where, um, you were in a real bad situation, like where there's heaps of them, and you were stuck in that place, and you can't hurt them, and they just keep sort of following you. And usually they're going to kill you before you can even get out. I found that very difficult place, even when you can, um, when you're able to attack them. Oh, I hate that! I really hate that their tails. They like their tails move, but you'll move with them. Nice, awesome. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to go back. So pretty close to where I'm, I'll be going to my next campfire. Um, so this is like where you get the uh, Black Knight Halberd. This is where I would get it, but I killed that knight and he never gave it to me. See, I didn't exactly know, so if I would have known, I would have kept quitting until I had it. <clears throat> but I've already started the game now, so I've just got to deal with it. Which I will. So I can go up there to kill the wolf, or um, just do what I was going to do. I'm going to go get the other halberd and level, level it up fully, and then... And then I can level it up later on, like, to high levels as well, to make it extremely strong. Like, so before I, I um, beat the boss, I'll, like, I'll try to level it up to, like, level 15 or something, the weapon. Give it, like, 300 plus damage. I wasn't sure if I ever taken this dude out. I'm pretty sure I took this um, demon out quite fast, like on my third or fourth part. Alright, so this door, so the next point I'll be going at some point straight ahead. Um, but I really need my one weapon because it's pretty damn difficult um, trying to go on there with a hammer or like the axe so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to the area that I, yeah so I'm, I'm pretty much right here where I need to be or if I go through this building and turn left and then and then turn right when I go out of that building I'll be good wonder if I can one hit these guys because I know they're like pretty painful Ooh, they give you titan shards that that's actually really nice to know because then I can um farm them instead of paying like eight hundred dollars uh, eight hundred souls for one to level up the halberd I just keep uh so right here is where the halberd is one of them the the base game one which is dope to know so I, I actually watched the whole video on where all the weapons are so I can have a good idea on it this is otherwise my favorite weapon okay it's weird that I didn't find it to be honest I bought the uh Like usually one of the shields will break its guard and then the next hit will thing. You can actually like hit up to like I think when you have more stamina like four or five times. So it's pretty nice. Oh, oh. hello? Oh, 
Wait, where'd the knight go? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was an accident. Wow. Yeah, uh, about that. So now I do have the, um, that helper and all that, so I can, um, probably just go to the next area. They give you quite a lot of, um, I'm not too sure how much hits it's gonna be, but I sort of need to level it up. So if I can just kill them a couple times, and, like, maybe even, um, if I did lose them at some point. I, I, I reckon I could um, get to the golem boss and get those like big bonus points and then level up really quick. Oh, come on. Oh, this is sucky. Oh, I don't like this. This is horrible. This is shocking damage. Really bad. Um, okay, we'll go to there, and then, so I've got two of those, which I could probably get two levels with the Hellgrid. Four large Titan Shards, Titan Chunks is up to plus 14. Right, because you can um you can make raw weapons and then raw weapons can go up to like five or something like that. I'm not too I'm not too sure how it works, but um plus four reinforced crystal lightning WPN. And then you need twinkling for the uh the one that my favourite weapon in the game that I don't have is the Halberd from the Knight. So there's only another one I can get, and it's in the Tomb of Giants, but that's going to be near the end of the game. And then there's another place that actually I don't think I've gotten to yet, and that's also at, like somewhere probably near the end of the game. I'm wondering if I've got what I, the thingy I'm wanting at the moment, but no. Nah. Like the torch. Alright. Um, not to do. Okay, so I'm going to use these souls here to like, boost up my weapon. Uh, 
Magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I right, purchase items. Uh... Hopefully I can um reinforce weapon. I should be able to, uh maybe do that too, but there we go. Fold up. Right, what have I got? Purchased items. Force armor. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hot. Right, so I don't know what the damage was before, but it's a lot more better now. Not too sure how you turn it into raw. Hang on. If I talk to well, him. And modify weapons. Okay, it does more damage uh, at raw. Large Titan shards. Okay, now I don't have the uh, required souls, but I think I could even level it up a bit more. Okay. If I come back. So there is a place you can farm the large shards, like how you can get the little shards that I just learnt from the uh, other place. But so you've seen the damage it was doing before. Hopefully this is near an instant kill now. Two hits or something. That'd be nice. Oh my god, it's so painful. I mean, my health is pretty low, but... Alright, let's try this, I guess. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> See if this does much damage to them.
Nope. Alright, so there's one thing I learned with this place. I had bad times. If you hit the chest and it doesn't have health bar, um, it's good. But if you, you always want to check, like there is a way that a guy that did guides on it could check about it, but I can't tell, they just look the same. So there's like ones, like there's monster chests, and then there's like traps, and then there's like the normal ones. How much does that do? 'll like if you could if you could like stab them twice and it would uh like kill them like instantly sort of thing you'd be all good but just cause it's taken a lot more my best option is this. So I wait for the next rock and I run to the rooms to get all the stuff from it. Cool. Alright, let's go. Boost defense versus physical damage. Don't exactly know what that means. So it doesn't make me weaker, but boosts my like defense. Maybe I'm not too sure. All right, let's get out of here. I'm always like thinking this is the boss when you're gone, but I sort of now know that. Not always the boss.
and the f wheel just changed to make it now go here. But hopefully the rock doesn't kill me, so once this goes past, I'm going to run straight up and try and follow that corner around as much as possible. Oh boy. Oh, hurry up. I'm stuck. Oh boy. Okay, I'm good. This, this place took me a long time to figure out where to go. Which I do have to go get all the stuff down the bottom, but I can always come back and explore this place. Um, I sort of want to kill the boss so I can... If the boss ain't too bad, I'm probably going to regret what I've said, but he can fall off the edge. So those ones you just have to run past. Us. Gotta get to that campfire though. More than it's like what I mainly want is the campfire. So I can uh Okay, okay, not good. Okay, that works. Somewhat. No. Oh, come on. Large Titan Shard. So that's another one to upgrade this. Hopefully I can upgrade it. Wait, wait. How How is that working? So, you can go up to power 5, I believe, with the raw. In total, I'm, I'm not too sure how that works. It's a lot more difficult when you don't have a powerful weapon. <laughs> I'll say that. Alright. Um. So I did. I actually came to this point on the uh, in the game because I was way overpowered by the time I uh. Where I've like no, I know what to do now. So like I haven't been like leveling up as much, and then. Um. So like, cause you just know where to go, you like sort of do it way earlier, and then you're under level. There's also big demons down there, those are uh, big demons like the big forks. Tyrannus demon I think they call itself. Okay, normally there's an enemy there but there was no one. It's weird. They must have fell down. Joke. 
well. Okay. I just thought this Helgrim was going to be a lot stronger then. By the time I leveled it up, but... 200's a lot different than 300 damage. What is my strongest weapon I've got? Uh... See what this does, eh? The damage they do to me is so crazily different. Alright, so I don't know if I should go do some other stuff and like level up a bit before I come back here because I'm probably a little bit under level. So I could go kill that wolf. He's not way too bad. And what other bosses do I got? Pinwheel. I'm not going to do that. Um, and then a lot of the other bosses are like literally pretty much after this place. Okay. <laughs> I reckon I kill these two and I go back and I'll level this up again, maybe two times if able. I'm definitely under level, I'm just like, I'm that kind of person that just keeps trying until it breaks me, I guess. Which I want the points so I can go back and upgrade this a little bit stronger. If I can make it two hits, that'll be nice. about dying. They just like, just because there's both of them there, it's making it so difficult because they're going to hit them five times, four or five times to kill them. Alright, I might, I might just avoid this area for the rest of the video and I'm going to go level some stuff up. I might go down and, and, and like fight the, uh, the wolf and try to get the points from him. And I could kill some of these guys too, like every time I come back. And I'll just, I'll keep this, uh, I'll keep this campfire here. Well, the wolves the actually move the other way.
not guaranteed though, so like they just drop it sometimes. So if you keep coming back there, you'll get a lot of that large tide tonight. So that's normally, I, I believe, close to a thousand, maybe even more. I'm pretty sure it's a thousand because it's 800 for the little one. Another weapon that'd be pretty nice to get would be that knight, uh, that knight sword that knight has. Titan chunk, then he didn't drop anything. Did I get the key for down there? I think you just have to run over there and um like from the dragon so you have to either kill the dragon with somehow or make it over there without the dragon killing you This way has some more of those uh, guys I'm looking for. Him. I'm gonna go back and grab my uh, campfire. Right, so let's play this way. So I'll do this, I'll do this path three times. I'm gonna try to get some more Titanite, because you can't exactly buy it. Oh, I, you normally can't even use it, even if you get it now, like you normally can't use it, but I'm guessing with the raw, because it's only going up to power five with this guy, like he does only like sort of weaker power. He doesn't do the big amounts. I like the big, big powerful weapons. Well, I need There's no way. Jesus. It's a lot stronger. Oi, where are you off to? Off to do something. <clears throat> Right, so what do I need to level up? 10,000, okay, a lot. Uh, strength. Oh, 
Alright, what kind of damage are we doing now? I wonder. I'm gonna try this again, like this part, and then if not, I'm just gonna go and kill the wolf, or try kill the wolf. Get a bunch more souls from it. So what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go use these souls before I lose them, because I'm definitely going to die at some point, before I get to where I want to get to. I'm going to buy a bunch more arrows so I can use them against that dude that I was trying to kill before. So if I would have killed that dude, I probably would have made it to where I wanted to. Right, uh, right. Go down to him. Right, large arrows, fifty health. Two. Don't get yourself. It'd be nice to be able to get through a campfire, because you know I can just um. I'm actually not sure if. You got there. Oh no, yeah, no, he's up the top. So yeah, I could get the campfire and then I pretty much have a unlimited access of, to retry the boss without having to run through this silly area. Damn, it's like just under level. Enough to not double hit him, that's what I'm wanting I'm wanting to double hit the, the enemies. So either if I live up my stream for a bit or So if you actually like try to run when the rock hits the ground, like hits the wall there, you uh, you get fling back, you like get hit back. That's so gonna drop off. Oh, come on. It's the worst thing that double hurt you, like if I hit you and then hit you again. But pretty much I just have to get up there, kill the uh, archer, and then, even though I said I was gonna try this one more time. And then go and kill a wolf. I'm gonna go kill a wolf if I can't get to the boss though soonish. Which is not far, I'm just gonna go to that, that uh the campfire I was at not that long ago. So I can do this. 
just get past them because they should get hit off the uh, the pyramid. If if not, then. Good. That's what I wanted. So I probably should go and uh I thought, I thought, that was coming towards me, I'm like, ah. Uh. This is probably one of my, like, my dislike, most disliked places. I hate the obstacle courses and stuff. As long as you can keep hitting him in the head, he'll get stunned, and then you can just... You know what? I don't even care, I just want to get to this. To this campfire so I can kill the giant golem and then I can go to New London and then I can kill the uh, metal guys they might be a little bit like a little tough and stuff but they give you a thousand points per kill and it's just so nice
Hopefully I get 10,000 or so from it. Oh boy, got more than I wanted. More than I bargained for. Maybe if I use this, I can get up two levels. Should be able to get up two levels here. Oh wait, 10,000. Hopefully I don't lose all my points. That sort of suck. If I can um What's funny? We haven't found any uh, the chests that like we will find one at some point. Okay, is this the ring that lets you boost fire defense? To be honest, I don't have many uh, good rings at the moment. They're pretty, pretty crap. Uh, I've got the one good one that like lets you um, have. Wait, oh, yeah, you get you gain health like each time you kill an enemy, like a little bit of health, which is pretty good. If able, I wanna like repeat this process and kill those guys again if, if I can until I can get my uh Pretty sure this is also five hundred. get the extra 500 we should be good and then I can get up my level and then I can take out this boss hopefully I just don't want to lose like that many souls it's not worth it I'd rather try it the boss from scratch as in like having no souls and I can sort of risk myself a little bit more Why not? Might need to get my guy to 40 just because of the halberd difference, the difference in the weapons, but then when I find the right weapon and I can fully mix it up, um, it'll be a lot easier.
I don't know if I've actually gone this way fully. Huh. <clears throat> I don't know what's meant to be there, but... There's also like a, uh, a mini boss that, like a mini giant boss. So he, he does spawn back. Don't know how many points he gives you, but okay, 3,000. Titan chunks. Okay, this is a different, this is a total different dude. So the guy down there is the one that respawns. This one might actually not respawn. Or... If he's still alive, he makes this boss ten times harder. He throws rocks and st a fire at you. That's the guy that was throwing fire before. They're bombs that I just destroyed. So this boss is pretty doable as in like as long as you don't have that guy up there throwing fires at you. Um, this guy just got to stay behind and under his knees. Okay, yep, he's a joke. <laughs> he's definitely a joke. So, my other, when I beat him for that first time, he actually didn't um, fall off the edge. I killed him pretty fast still because I had the, uh, the knight, the black knight halberd, but... Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty easy. You just gotta stay behind him and under his, like, every time he tries to attack, just flow under his knees and he just can't, he can't do anything. If I can though, I sort of want to kill a wolf in this playthrough too, if able. Um. Alright, here's one more. This spot as well, I was just like, I had no idea where to go until I, I had to watch a guide to, to lead me where to go because it was confusing as hell.
feel like the thing that makes Dark Souls harder for me is to like know where to go and it like doesn't exactly tell you where to go so you've like got to you meant to figure it out for yourself which sometimes like like for the DLC bosses and that I would have never figured that out I would have never gone back to that area probably where you have to go to get to the DLCs like I'm on it I'm actually on the DLCs for my uh, non-video playthrough that I'm like level 50 it was funny because like one of the dudes on YouTube ranked him like the the first duo boss. He ranked him to like four or something like on on how hard he is, and then I like kill him in four hits. Like he didn't even really do nothing. It just killed him like extremely fast. It was funny, but it's probably because I'm just overpowered um, on that with the weapon I've got. See what this girl can do. Well, well, if you exit, if you want to follow. Acquire to reinforce Esther's flask. So, if you kill someone that has that, you can come to her, I'm pretty sure, and use that to, like, level up your flasks. So behind here there's a big yellow a big yellow like wall that has bosses in it for later on. Hey there's Smo. I'm guessing the other one's the other boss. say these guys probably won't be bad to like level me up fast either to be honest to level me up a little bit more yeah but there's that big yellow door there and that leads you to two bosses it leads you to one of the lava ones and I believe uh, I think there's two lava bosses after that, at that point, that you fight. I sort of need to go back and get some, um, I could kill the, uh, the next Halberd. Uh, what do you call him? The Gargoyle that's, um, somewhere when you go down here you have to kill him I could actually just go kill him I think it's probably a good idea but like after this point there's just that end down there and so you have to go along this uh that pyramid there to get up to there and you like roll off and you go onto that roof.
pretty much anything you don't get um, from those gargoyles. Like, if you didn't get the weapon or something, you'll get it from that one. Alright, so I think I should uh, level up and then I could maybe get the fight. No, so I'm, I might go kill that wolf and then on my next um, playthrough I'll uh, come back here and I'm going to carry on with the, um, this area. I just have to go buy some um, poison arrows for a certain point of this. So otherwise it's just total pain. And you don't want to do that. So, like, you can poison certain enemies and just wait for them to die. It's like the best way to do it. So I really just want to kill any other easier bosses and get more souls to level up a little bit more if able. To help me out towards then, yeah. I need to go back and grab those poison arrows anyway, so. I'm gonna go do that. And I should probably um, explore this place a little bit more. So I believe he's a one-time enemy, like he doesn't come back. We'll say I did never I never came down this path. So if it's something uh pretty good, I might have to come back, but Uh, Alright, I'm not too sure. I got a sword, which is cool, but I don't know what the other thing does. So now that I know that what Firekeeper Souls do, when I used it, thinking it was like souls, uh, you need it to like upgrade your um, Estus flasks, which... I've sort of still got five on my main account that I've nearly finished the game with just like using five. Which I normally have five on this, but it's ten because of like the certain campfire that I went to.
Yep, now it's doing two, uh, just because I've leveled up my that strength a lot more, it's doing it in like two hits, killing things. thinking about going down to the bottom but I don't exactly know how to get back up is the problem. You do find some stuff down there. Screw it, if I lose my souls, I lose my souls. Sound whatsoever. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's dope. Okay, so I could go back to where I want to to kill that wolf. That's what I'm thinking about doing. There's no goddamn. I should have ran the campfire like I was going to. Now I have to do the whole obstacle course again to get my points back. Damn it. Wait a minute, what did I do? I went down here, didn't I? Well, I'm gonna go off it. Pretty sure I did. Well, this is like the best. This is the best way to get back. I like never did this before. I like did the whole course running down like the rocks and. Oh god, that's rude. I was probably gonna get hit there. Oh, come on. so hard to hit. Oh my god. Nah, screw this. Oh 
Oh, fuck off. Wow. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay, I can actually go this other way if I don't get killed by the Tarnish Demon. Oh, this is slow. Okay, uh... They do give you stuff when you kill them. I sort of want to kill them at some point, but like maybe if I came back from the wolf, I sort of want to. Okay, I don't. I don't think I can really get back up there and get my points, my six thousand. What? Because I actually don't know how to get back up from this point onwards. Like. So this was the mini boss I was talking about that you can go to. Day at work. Well, I'll take that. Um, okay, I don't get it. <laughs> Why it wants you to jump down there? Okay. Ooh, wait. Oh, okay, that's how you get back up. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. Let's not get unlucky here. Screw those guys. Let's go down to that other one, so I'm guessing as I go, I might even like just get some points by going to another area and then I'm going to level up again, and then I'm going to um, go and fight the wolf, and then I'll give it a couple attempts if I don't get it this, and I'll just do it, I'll just keep trying on the next attempt. I don't want this being way too long like the video. As it is, and a gigabyte, uh, a gigabyte video is um around thirty to forty gigabytes of an upload. It's so, like my Halo videos and all that. Like usually, a, I can upload one video a day in a way. I'm gonna go there just in case I lose my points and then oh. All right, let's kill this big guy and he should give me at least he gives you 600, I believe. He's 
no way. They are so weak. They're so weak, oh. Jesus, how weak was I beforehand? Oh. Oh. As I talk, oh boy. Oh. It's more meaning there are uh, health weak more than their attacks. So if you're wanting to get poison moss, just go on a hunt from these guys. So this, the path that I'll be going next has a, a load of these trees. And you can just um, take a bunch out. So uh, reinforced weapon, no. I want to live what? Strength. So why not? Strength is everything in Dark Souls. If you can attack and kill them fast and don't get hit, you're good to go. But um, I'm not the best at dodging at times. I like certain moves. So one boss I've found the most annoying so far, like in my other playthrough, was a uh, bed of chaos. It's like a boss where you have to like destroy two parts and then you've got to like try to take the thing. And I literally punched him with my hands, and it killed the boss like the, the thing that's inside it's got like one HP because I put the I put the shield in the other hand and I did this I'm pretty sure hang on if I like if I uh, put a shield here and I, I just did this <laughs> and it killed the boss just because it's got no HP after you take out the main, like, shields and other stuff. Um. I wonder what's faster, because I mean, probably like down there probably is faster, but I feel like I should have a pretty good chance at, uh, actually never mind, I've got those other, these other certain enemies that you have to fight. So like to try get to the boss, um, there's these certain enemy types that um, can be a right pain in the butt. And so you have to kill, so where you have to go um, to get to the DLCs and stuff, you have to kill a, a Golem Knight and then you have to kill the two, the duo boss, and after that, and you have to talk to the person after that duo boss, and then you're literally good to go, like as in, you can do whatever you want, well, I mean, ooh.
Okay, they're, they're also pretty um, easy to kill. So what I mean by doing whatever you want, you can go like, to the DLCs by them, but you've still got to do some stuff first. So never mind, you've actually got to, you've got to kill something else first. You've got to, um, so you've got to kill the duo boss, and then, and then later on when you get those, when they open up the yellow doors, uh, one of the yellow doors, um, which I think it's by um, Norlandor, you can, uh, you get a certain thing from one of the blue crystal dudes, like the guys that just fought, but there's one and he's got something that he drops and you need that and you come back to here and then you're good to go. Like over around that corner where I'm looking. That guy's got no face. Or he does, it's like covered in the hoodie. So, each one of those I can kill means that I don't have to deal with it after, like, another time they don't respawn. They're like bear, uh, bear cat droid eaters from Star Wars. Oh, okay. You okay. definitely mean business. You can also farm the big mushrooms, which they, um, they do give you quite a lot of, uh, points. I think it's like a thousand as well, but you're just best to go to that place that, um, where, uh, Anor Lund or whatever it's called, um, and then kill the guards there that do a thousand and stuff. Who reckons I can kill this boss in the first attempt? I wonder if I can hold that sword. I, I think I can. Yeah. 
Imagine if it was like a trio boss, like trio dogs of nice. Oh, okay. There's no way I can get a single dodge in there. Damn. Alright, one more attempt and then um, if I die again I'm probably just gonna end this video and if I kill him I'll end this video. So it's just like hopefully I can pass him though, that'll be nice. So we can go straight on to, um, we can get, uh, some, po I need to remember to get poison arrows as well, but, either I'm gonna not remember, or I'll remember once I get to the part that I need them, and then I'll have to go back anyway, so, either way. The only thing with the wolf is, like, to stay under him, otherwise he does some pretty heavy damage. Also go the other way, which will give me more moss and stuff. Because there's a lot of the trees in it, but um, I wouldn't say it's recommended. This way is a lot easier. Like if, if you're really struggling with those things, just try kill those cats up there, and then this this path is really safe to run. It's like nothing to hurt you. But as soon as you get past that point there and go into the trees, they don't really follow you. So by running around the outside, um, it gives you enough time to get pretty much to the trees by the time they realise that you're there and then as they try and attack you like in the trees and then they don't do anything for it or like they don't come for you. Alright, we'll go down. Alright. Oh my god. You can't do anything. You can't get to him. He's definitely not an easy boss unless you're like just got a really overpowered weapon where you can kill him in a couple hits. But anyways, uh thanks for watching and I'll see you all in part nine I believe.
But yeah, um, stay safe, and hopefully I can kill that wolf boss on part nine, which I should be, because I'm just I'm gonna have to keep trying until I get it at some point. I could always go to that next area though and come back later as well, because I've got to come to that area like to get the DLC, so I could do it then when I'm way powerfuler. But I'm pretty powerful anyway now to the, um to take him out. All right, see you.